Hey guys, this is Derek from ModernCastle.com. Today we'll be taking a look at two vacuums. We'll be looking at the V6 versus Dyson's V8. So with that said, let's go ahead and dive in. First, let's take a look at the design. Both vacuums have a similar design. The handle includes the motor, cyclones, dustbin, battery, and trigger. Both vacuums have a wand, which you can use as a stick vacuum or as an extension for handheld use. Additionally, both vacuums include a motorized brush roll cleaning head. Both the V6 and the V8 have a similar size. The V6 is slightly shorter at 47.5 inches, while the V8 stands at 49 inches tall. Both vacuums are 9.8 inches wide. Lastly, the Dyson V6 is lighter than the V8. The V6 is 5.1 pounds and the V8 is 5.75 pounds. Both vacuums come with a wide variety of accessories. However, it is important to note that the specific model you purchase will determine the exact set of accessories and cleaning heads that come with your vacuum. There are six main versions of the V6 and two main versions of the V8. The V6 is available as the Absolute, Animal, Motorhead, Fluffy, HEPA, and cord-free models, while the V8 is only available as the Absolute or Animal. For both the V6 and the V8, the Absolute version of the vacuum comes with the most accessories and most notably includes the multi-surface cleaning head and the fluffy soft roller cleaning head. The Animal version of the V6 and V8 includes all the same accessories as the Absolute. The only thing you miss out on is the soft roller head. The V6 Fluffy includes the soft roller cleaning head for hard surfaces but lacks the multi-surface cleaning head. It also includes a variety of accessories. The V6 Motorhead, HEPA, and cord-free versions include the fewest number of accessories, but still have the essentials. One last note on accessories. Both models of the V8, as well as the V6 Absolute and HEPA, include HEPA filtration. However, the V6 Animal, Motorhead, Fluffy, and cord-free models do not include a HEPA filter. All Modern Castle vacuum reviews are tested on three different floor types and against four different debris types. For each test, we measure the percentage of debris cleaned. For our hardwood floor cleaning tests, both vacuums performed reasonably well. However, the most significant problem for both was our serial test. However, it should be noted that these issues were more a result of the direct drive cleaning head. The direct drive cleaning head is great for multi-surface, but not ideal for large debris on hard surfaces. When we retested the V8 with the fluffy cleaning head, the debris removal was nearly flawless. Unfortunately, we didn't have a compatible fluffy head for the V6. However, we would expect results to be substantially similar. Our tests on both low and high pal carpet were no match for the V8, which scored nearly flawlessly across all of our tests. The V6 scored well for kitty litter, sugar, and our rice tests. However, it did continue to experience struggles while trying to clean up the cereal. One of the biggest pros with both the V8 and the V6 is simply how versatile they are. Both vacuums can be configured as a stick vacuum or handheld. A variety of attachments can be used directly on the handheld or on the end of the extension wand for extra reach. Overall usability is excellent and virtually the same on both vacuums. To set up, you just snap the pieces together. The V6 uses Dyson's older style dustbin release, which can leave some debris trapped within. The V8 uses a newer dustbin release system, which is designed to force more dust and dirt out. Both vacuums are effectively the same when it comes to maneuverability. Both are lightweight, both can turn at 90 degrees, both can lay nearly flat, and both include a variety of accessories and attachments that allow additional reach and maneuverability where you need it. Maintenance is fairly straightforward and simple on both vacuums. Both vacuums include a lifetime washable HEPA filter, as well as a lifetime washable central filter. In both cases, you just want to wash the filters about once per month in cold water and allow to air dry. Both batteries are quite good. Both batteries take around 3.5 hours to charge. Runtime on the V6 is around 20 minutes and runtime on the V8 is around 40 minutes. Annual maintenance costs on both the V6 and the V8 are fairly low. Since both include lifetime washable filters, the only cost involved will be if you damage or lose your filters or you do need to replace the battery. Both the V6 and V8 are fairly average when it comes to noise. The V6 is just a little bit louder at 76 decibels, while the V8 comes in at 73 decibels. So, which vacuum is better, the V6 or the V8? At the end of the day, both of these vacuums are great choices. To decide which is best will depend on what factor is the most important to you. Here are the biggest differences. First, the V8 has a longer runtime, running for 40 minutes compared to the V6 20 minute runtime. 
Second, the V8 has a larger dust bin at 0.54 liters compared to the V6 0.4 liter dust bin. Lastly, the V8 performed better during our cleaning tests. Beyond that, the biggest difference simply comes down to price. The V6 is around $150 to $200 less than the V8. So it really is a question of whether or not the longer runtime, larger dustbin, and improved cleaning performance of the V8 is worth that price difference. Well guys, that's it for this review. I hope you found this helpful. If you have any comments or questions, please drop us a note down below. We're always available to help. If you didn't like this video, give us a thumbs down, but if you thought it was cool, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to buy any of the products we featured in today's video, check out our links in the description down below. If you wanna see more from us, definitely get subscribed or check out some of our other videos. For more great stuff, visit moderncastle.com. We have more reviews, guides, tutorials, videos, and a whole lot more. As always, thank you so much for watching.